see you're in the middle of the uh, General Assembly. So to get, kind of get, put it in perspective, uh, this plant has uh, 6.2 million square foot on a roof. It's one of the largest manufacturing car plants in the United States. Um, it has complete uh, metal stamping facilities, six stamping presses, 1,200 fanning robots. Uh, the paint shop is world-class, state-of-the-art Dur system. That's a German system. In the paint, paint world, that's the number one system currently right now. Uh, it it's, uh, was built in 2004, which is uh, still very new technology as far as paint goes. Uh, this, and this is the General Assembly building. This is the largest uh, facility building on the, on the site. It, it will have the most associates or team members for us uh, in this process area. And you can kind of see by some of the carriers behind me and behind you actually, that the, uh, there's kind of the size for the Chevy Cruze. So as we start retooling the facility, we'll have to increase those carrier sizes, change our conveyor pitches, um, and work on our heights of our envelopes. Some of the heights, you know, you can look at are for car, we'll have to raise some stuff up to increase the envelope size so that we'll be very flexible for multiple models, whether it's a sedan, an SUV, a truck, or a post office vehicle. So we want to be very flexible when we make those retooling changes that we can adapt very quickly to, uh, to whatever the market demand is to, to make the company successful. So uh, this kind of gives you, now of course what you're not seeing here too is uh, this, this is one of the bigger parts. Above this is another, is another story. On, over half of this has the second floor. And that's where we'll be looking to retool and put in, uh, actually not retool. It had an old paint shop up here. So we'll be uh, re re renovating that and turning that into a new battery line and a hub motor line. So those would be new facilities. But when you were mentioning like the foundation and the carriers, so because the framework is there, what you're talking, that's correct. The the the, the, the cages, all that's easy to change. But because all that framework is there, that's what made yeah. It so easy when you make it easier, when you get into like the structural steel that you're seeing here that supports the line, all this structural steel is about 30 percent of the cost of the equipment in general. So by having that steel on site uh, and having the robots on site, the conveyors on site and the PLCs on site, the HMIs, all that tooling and equipment's on site. We might have to reconfigure some of it and re and re make the line a little different flow. But in general, it's here, so that cuts out nine months of that time just to get those materials on site. You can see the history too. You, you won't see this in a new plant. I mean, it has the cobblestone history. Oh yeah, right. Shop, so when we talk about body shop, paint shop, and assembly, we'll do the same thing. 